Hi, it's Penny here from the Patchwork Angel on the beautiful Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. And I just wanted to share with you a quick little project that we often love to make as a swap or as a gift for a friend. And it's these cute little pin cushions. Now you can make little pin cushions like this out of all sorts of things. We've used a little flower pot, so you can grab those at your local garden centre. They're only about a dollar each, uh, or your local hardware. We've then painted ours in aqua and then sponged them with white paint. And I just use my acrylic paints, my, my folk art paints, whatever paints you've got at home seem to work okay. Then you make a circle with your fabric and your circle must be bigger than the top of your container. So once you've done your circle, for this I'd use something like a small bread and butter plate. You can do a gathering stitch around the edge, just a loose one by hand, uh, just a little bit from the edge and draw it in I like to use a hand quilting thread for that because it keeps it nice and strong. If you haven't got hand quilting thread, little hint is that you can use dental floss. It's really strong. Okay, pop some stuffing in it or some walnut shells, draw it up nice and tight. Then what I like to do is run a bead of glue around the inside edge before I pop the ball in and then pop it in place and let it glue down. Once you've done that, you can decorate it with some rickrack or some pom-poms and of course you don't have to just use a flower pot if you've got a lovely cup that the saucer is broken on or a nice little tin or a little old vase that can be lovely too and I've actually even seen this done with old serviette rings you know the silver serviette rings that we used to have I've got some at home too and I keep thinking I must do that the little pins we've done are topped with buttons that we that I had actually in my collection and they're on the top of the little flower head pins and I've just glued them on there. I knew I'd never use those buttons because they're just too cute, but it's a lovely way of enjoying them rather than having them in a jar in your sewing room. So the other day I thought, okay, um, this is a great little idea. And I was fossicking through the cupboard and I found this, which is a great little Vegemite mug. And I thought, what a fabulous little pin cushion it would make. I thought the orange spot would look terrific in it. What do you think? Works, doesn't it? And then perhaps some red pom-pom braid around it. You can, of course, use any pom-pom braids, any rickrack, a lace if you want to. Do all sorts of things. You could use a doily as your, your centerpiece or even cut out parts of doilies and add them on. You can have lots of fun with this and it's a great gift idea. To cut your circle, you can either use a bread and butter plate, like I said, and trace around it, or you can use one of these terrific little ratchet cutters which are really good. Be careful though, they're really sharp, but they're great and they do any size circle pretty well. Uh, there is a limitation to it, but you know, you can do a bit, lots of different size circles. And they're really great to use too. So that's another little handy hint for you. We do have those in store. So I hope that gives you a little bit of inspiration of something to have a play with, something to make perhaps as gifts, or get your group together and do a swap. Do a pin cushion swap, it's lots of fun. Thank you for that. We'll talk to you again soon.